everyone, welcome to another episode with Montana Outdoor Science School. My name is Melanie and today I'm talking about another journal entry that you can do at home. This one is all about sketching living animals. In the past we have sketched a uh, still life. These are things that don't really move around. They are easy to take notes on for a long while. But with drawing animals it's a little different. You have the added uh, disadvantage of them potentially moving, but this just gives you often another opportunity to draw things at a new angle and see uh, a little bit more observations of that creature. I'm going to show you my process for how I lay the foundation down for drawing animals, the things I'm going to ask myself, things I'm going to look for. Um, I'm not trained as an artist, so again, this is kind of just laying down the building blocks for you, something that you could take and then even improve upon in your own journal. So this activity is meant to be a sketch. This means that it's going to be quick, it's going to be imperfect, and it just is meant to portray whatever animal it is that you're trying to put onto your paper. Um, no drawing comes out perfect at first, so don't worry about the little details that make up that animal. You just want to get the rough idea, the rough shape of that critter. Uh, because it is um, a project where you're trying to create the whole animal on paper, Break it up into smaller pieces. Uh, look at just shapes of parts of that animal first. Don't try to draw the whole thing at once. For me, I drew a little uh, set of shapes here to kind of remind myself what I might see if I am looking at an animal. I started off with just basic shapes here across the first line, and then I moved downward and remembered that shapes could change as I look at different things or different parts of an animal, and so I kind of drew just some basic shapes to remind myself of that. Remember before you start to give your journal entry a title, and you'll want to date it as well. So you'll want to find an animal in its natural habitat if you can. Birds are really easy and very common. Uh, you can find them near water, especially these days, or foraging just in your own yard. Deer are also around in the early parts of the morning especially, or in the late parts of the day, so you could be on the lookout for those. And you could also look for insects on very warm or clear days. Uh, the insects are starting to come back now that we're getting into the warmer parts of spring, so be on the lookout for those. Again, make sure you're not approaching any wild life uh, in an unsafe manner, you always want to make sure you're keeping a good distance. You can also use an animal in your own home. If you have any pets, uh, these make great subjects for doing this activity. I am going to be using my cat and I'm going to see if I can go find one of them and see if I can get them to stay still long enough for me to be able to sketch them out. Well, that was a pretty good session. Um, I got a little quick sketch of her there. I'm going to try another time again. Uh, my view is obviously going to be different than what you guys were seeing, but this is what I got so far. Started off with a big circle, added a littler circle, added her collar as this little rectangle, uh, and then I kind of built in some other rounded shapes into her from there. I started adding slowly details of her face, but it just gave a rough idea of my kitty there. So the sketches that I've done so far, I've used really light lines as I'm making them. Um, and you can see it's just some basic shapes. At this point, my cats don't look super cat-like, but you can tell what they are. Um, I kind of think they look a little bit like potatoes, which is pretty cute. We've got this one right here. I'm going to try to do one more sketch and see how well I can do it. Good boy, Derby. I 
at this point, I've got a pretty good drawing. And what I'm gonna do now, since my subject is still here, I'm gonna try to add the little details uh, that I haven't quite gotten on the first two. Uh, at this point, because I have been able to observe him so long, even if he does move, I can go in and add plenty more details uh, that I can remember from my memory. All right, Citrus, look out. So that is my drawing, everybody, and that is the kitty that I used for my subject. Uh, you can, as you develop your skills, uh, start to add those details. Like I said, you can start to add color in here. So I tried to uh, remake his print with my pencil there. Um, and that is how you can sketch animals. You'll notice that he was moving his head a lot during that whole thing, and that's natural, that's gonna happen. You'll just have to be prepared for that to occur. Oh, see you later, Derby. Make sure as you're doing this project that you are still keeping that safe distance between you and wildlife. Make sure you're also not disturbing your own pets at home. Uh, as you do this project though, uh, you'll see that the more you practice it, the better it'll get over time. Really, every sketch that you make is just practice for the future. Thank you for joining us, everyone. If you like our videos, please be sure to follow us on Facebook. Be sure to also subscribe to our YouTube page with Montana Outdoor Science School. We will see you all next time. Thanks for joining us.